Hello everybody and thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino and in today's video we shall be talking a little bit about this type of little crummy Arduino motor which is extremely hard to use unless you have some sort of tricks and should you have any I would be curious to hear them because basically it has such a super smooth shaft here and the super smooth shaft, you see here reflecting the lamp light, is not allowing you to attach this to anything sensibly because the moment it starts to apply force, it breaks free from whatever it is connected to and yeah, deserts you. But I believe I have discovered a method to employ these little monsters. As you can see here, the shaft has been roughened up. And the trick to do so is simply with such uh, well stone to sharpen knives with and you just rub it like this forcefully and violently violence is no solution if you're not employing enough of it and having done so you can see that the shaft is no longer as completely smooth as it used to be previously uh, focus, come on, focus. So if you do this enough, then you should be able, let, let me put here a smooth one next to the roughened up one. And let's try to focus these. Yeah, you can see that the one has been clearly a little bit scratched, the one on the right, whereas the left one is still completely smooth. And when the roughening is proper, I trust that these motors should be able to hold Plastic holders. Plastic holders made of what? Well, I discovered that such standard plastic toothpicks can be very well molten with a soldering iron. And so I will melt such toothpicks and melt them around this roughened up surface and thereby hopefully have something which will hold well enough to the shaft of these motors in order to make them useful. Let's see how that goes. So, pumice is the word of the day. Pumice is this stone with which I roughened up the rotating shaft in order to be able to melt around it these toothpicks and thereby create something that should be more easily usable when trying to employ these motors in experiments. Now this little white shaft in each case of the four motors, <laughs> which is also evidently the rest of each toothpick, should be able to survive straining and, and use a force when the motor is turned on. So as a next step, I am going to create here the wires for these motors and see whether if I turn the motor on these little plastic shafts will be able to survive. And if yes everything is successful and if no well back to the drawing board right? Remember to test your motors after you have prepared them for not always everything goes smoothly one broke off its handle and the other shed it entirely, so this will need to be fixed before progressing further. All right, and now that all issues have been fixed and everybody has been repaired, we are having a completely operational little motor. So, and that applies for all four. One thing, if you wonder why this particular shaft well, because it can move in both directions, depending on where you put plus and minus, and therefore you can use it as a sort of replacement of a solenoid. Solenoids are a lot more expensive than electromotors, and a bag full of solenoids, no, a bag full of electromotors sometimes costs as much as one quality solenoid. But if you don't need a quality solenoid, but just some sort of solenoid, there may be such a thing with a little plastic toothpick lever is the correct solution. And with that, I hope you enjoy today's video. I hope you...
acquired something practical and interesting <laughs> for your entertainment. I hope to greet you here soon again, in particular as regular guests, for which I would be very grateful. From me, have a wonderful day and goodbye and see you again in future episodes. As you can imagine that these little electromotors have not been prepared just as a character study.